Whether you have the AirPods Pro first or second generation, chances are you're not getting the most out of them. So that's why in this video, you're gonna see more than 20 tips and tricks for the AirPods Pro that are not completely obvious. This first tip is going to allow you to send messages much faster when you do it via Siri. So if you go into your settings and then go to Siri and search, you will see automatically send messages. If you have this enabled and you have the headphones toggle enabled here as well, it's going to send the message without you having to confirm that you want to send that message. And then if you go back and into announce notifications, you will see that we have reply without confirmation. And this is going to allow you to reply to not just messages, but any application without confirmation from Siri, without having to confirm to Siri that you do want to send that message. If you have the AirPods Pro second generation, you have the all new adaptive transparency feature. And this is going to allow you to use these somewhat like earplugs, because if you wear them during a concert or like a NASCAR race, something really loud, it's going to limit those loud sounds to 85 decibels. And if you go into the settings for your AirPods, you will see that we do have a toggle for adaptive transparency. I would recommend turning that on, but if you don't want to and you want to blow out your eardrums, you can turn that off. And I have worn these to loud events and surprisingly, nobody thought I was the weirdest person in the crowd. And they actually thought it was really cool and smart when I told them why I have the AirPods in my ears. So I would recommend having that turned on and consider wearing them to concerts. You know, it's not going to be as weird as you think it will be. Now, also in the control center, you can monitor this as well. So if you go ahead back to your settings and then go into the control center, you want to make sure you have this ear added right here, which is for hearing. Once you have that added, go to your control center and you will see it right here. If you tap and hold on that, you will see down here we have live listen and background sounds. So background sounds is a really cool one that's going to allow you to have background sounds basically playing on your AirPods. You have white noise, you have ocean, rain, stream. You can play all those straight from this control center toggle and you can adjust the volume like so. And then also down here is live listen. And when you turn that on, it's gonna show you the headphone level right there. It's gonna show you that decibel reading. And again, as long as you have adaptive transparency turned on, it's going to limit that to 85 decibels. Now I do need to say that you should not rely on AirPods to protect your hearing. You may wanna get actual earplugs for that but this is something that's nice and kind of a nice addition to when you're at a loud event or in a loud environment and then the last thing I want to mention is in the health application if you go to the hearing section you could see all of your headphone audio levels right here the past seven days you could also see graphs from the past like six months or year to see you know what your environment sounds are looking like and you don't want that to be steadily over a hundred very often. The next tip is that you can use Find My to locate not only both of your AirPods, the buds themselves, but if you have the AirPods Pro 2, you could also locate the case individually. So if the case is separated from the AirPods, you will be able to track all three separately in the Find My application. And of course, the AirPods Pro 2 case also has built-in speakers, so you can easily locate that. And you can turn that off if you want. You can see you have the enable charging case sounds right there, so you can turn that off. And then also you can turn Find My off if you would like to as well. So if you turn that off, you are able to you know, disable any of the tracking features. And I will say that will save you battery life. If you turn Find My off, that's going to save you a good amount of battery life on your AirPods case and your AirPod buds. So I would you know, somewhat recommend turning that off if you never really go anywhere and you're always at home. You could always turn it back on when you go to travel and you might you know, need that if they get stolen or lost. And speaking of battery life, I would highly recommend adding the battery widget to your home screen and your lock screen. So if you go into here and then go to batteries, you could add these batteries to your home screen and again, also to your lock screen. And that's a way to keep an eye on your battery level for your AirPods case and your AirPods individually. Now, if you ever notice that one AirPod shows a lower battery level than the other, first off, it'll only show that if they are 5% apart. So like if one AirPod has 90% and the other one has 84%, it's going to show them separately. But if one has 95% and one has 91%, it's going to show them combined because it's not more than 5% that separates each bud. And if you do notice that one is always lower than the other, that could be due to, you know, maybe a defect in your case or just the way that you are actually putting your AirPods in the case. You want to make sure to push them down so that they are touching the coils in the bottom of the case. Make sure they are both charging in that case. Now it could also be because you always use the microphone on one of these so you can actually change that if you go into your settings and if you go down to microphone right here 
Make sure this is on automatic. You, you can change it to always left or right, but you might notice battery drain, you know, if you always have it in one AirPod. The next tip is for those who use transparency mode a lot, and there's actually a way to customize transparency mode to get it to work the best for your ears specifically. So if you go into your AirPod settings and then go down to accessibility, and then down to audio accessibility settings, and then to headphone accommodations. Make sure that is turned on and go down to the bottom, make sure you have your AirPods in your ears and you will see transparency mode. Go ahead and tap on that and you wanna turn on custom transparency mode. And when you do that, you can see you have quite a few settings to change here. So you have an overall amplification, you have the balance between your left and right ear, you also have the tone if you want a darker or a brighter tone, and you have noise reduction, ambient noise reduction there to reduce the amount of environmental noise. So I'd recommend having both AirPods in your ears when tweaking these, but this is going to greatly enhance the transparency mode feature with your AirPods. Now also down here is another major feature and that is conversation boost. And this is going to basically allow you to hear people easier when in loud environments. Like if you're in a coffee shop and you're talking to somebody across you know, the table, but there's a lot of noise going on and you can't hear very well, this is going to help when you turn that on. And if you wanna access all of these settings easily, you can just use that ear toggle that we added to our control center earlier and make sure you tap on headphone accommodations and make sure transparency mode is checked right there there and you will see all of those same settings right here along with that conversation boost down there at the bottom. Now I kind of skimmed over this earlier but I do want to mention live listen a little bit more because this feature is not only good for just kind of tracking your headphone levels but it's also good for hearing things in certain conditions. I'm going to turn off transparency mode so this isn't so cluttered here, but live listen is going to be great if maybe, you know, you wanted to listen in on a conversation from where your phone is at. So if your phone is across, you know, the hall or it's in a different room and it's still connected to your AirPods, you're going to be able to hear what your phone hears. So this could be great, for instance, in like a classroom, if you're in the back of the classroom and you can't hear, you know, you could set your phone up closer to you know where the person talking is at and you can go ahead and sit in your seat all the way in the back and you'll be able to hear better when you have live listen enabled that's just one scenario that i know is very common but it could also be great to just listen in on somebody in another room if you wanted to do that now if we head back into that section we were just previously in inside of accessibility audio accessibility headphone accommodations you will see we have custom audio set up right here and this is going to be very beneficial if you want to completely customize the way that your airpods sound with media, with phone calls, everything. So if you go ahead and tap on continue, this is where you can import an audiogram. If you want to import that, it's going to be the best way to kind of, you know, personalize the audio to your ears. You could use an app or just one from a doctor, but if you don't have one, you could also just do the little test that Apple has right here. I would highly recommend doing this regardless of how good you think the AirPods sound, because that will make a massive difference in both audio and for phone calls. And if you wanted to customize your listening experience even more, you can do that. So if you go back, to our settings and go to our AirPods right here and then go down until we see personalized spatial audio. So I don't know what just happened there, but if we go to personalized spatial audio, go ahead and tap on that. And this is going to be another way to greatly improve the overall sound quality of your AirPods. And this is going to, you know, require you to take pictures of your ears, but it is worth it because it's going to try to figure out, you know, how your ears are shaped to conform the audio to your specific shape of ears. It makes a massive difference in sound quality when you use spatial audio. Now let's talk about notifications because I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like my podcast or my music getting interrupted with notifications all the time. So if we go into our settings and go to notifications, you will see up top right here, we have announce notifications. Now I would recommend having this turned on that way you don't miss important notifications, but I would recommend turning this off for I would say most applications, like for example, you know, Amazon or App Store or you know the calendar application, I may not want to be interrupted. I may not want to interrupt my music or my podcast to hear a notification from one of those applications. So I would just go in here and turn off announce notifications for the applications you do not want to be you know bothered with when you're listening to something. And you could also access this in the control center if you have the toggle added in the control center. You can see you have this little button right here where you can mute for one hour. You could turn announce notifications off for the day or you could just keep it on and it will stay red right there okay so this next tip has a little backstory to it so the other week I was on a phone call and my hands were full and the conversation ended on the phone but I was not able to hang up because I didn't have a free hand I was not able to tap on my airpod because both my hands were full 
But if I just had this setting enabled, I would have been able to end that phone call with just my voice. And the way you guys can do that too, is if you go into your settings and then into Siri and search, if you go to call hang up, make sure that is turned on. That way you can end a phone call by just saying, hey Siri, hang up. This next tip goes out for those who can never really seem to get the AirPods to fit or stay in their ears. And the first thing you guys should do is go into your settings for your AirPods and go to ear tip fit test. And from here, it's going to test the fit of your ear tips in your ears. Now, if that shows good fit, or even if it shows a not good fit, I would just recommend going ahead and trying on the small or the new extra small tips that came in the box with your AirPods. Now, extra small only came with the AirPods Pro 2 so keep that in mind but if all that doesn't work you could even try getting some of the memory foam tips that are sold on Amazon for pretty cheap so not only will those be more comfortable but they may fit better in your ears the next tip is a good one if you're on a long plane ride or a long road trip and you want to share audio with somebody with their own set of airpods and to do that you just go into the airplay menu in the you know music application for example or up in the control center if you tap up in the top right you will see once you tap on the little airpods icon you will see we have share audio and this is going to allow you to share audio with another user when they have their airpods nearby so the airpods pro get probably more firmware updates than you even realize and the reason for that is because apple doesn't really make it clear how to update the firmware or what's really new in the firmware updates so if you go into your airpods settings and then go all the way down to the bottom you will see the version number so you can see for instance mine is 5b58 and if you tap into that section you will also see the case version number and then if you tap on the little support document right under that it's going to take you to the firmware update page where it shows you the latest firmware versions so you can check and see if you are on the latest firmware version or not and to update your airpods apple doesn't really make this very clear there's not even an exact science behind it but a quicker and easier way to get your airpods to update is to make sure that they are in the airpods case make sure that case is plugged in and connected to your iphone which is connected to wi-fi and let them just sit there for about 10 minutes very close to each other and it should happen automatically there is no way to force update your airpods over the air like we can on our iphone you just kind of have to let it happen automatically the next tip is a pretty cool one and that's that you can actually charge the airpods pro second generation case with an apple watch charger so it sticks very nicely to the back of the case and you're able to charge of course in addition to normal chi wireless charging or the lightning cable at the bottom but i find myself almost most exclusively using the Apple Watch charger just because it's readily available. Oh, and something else cool about the AirPods Pro case when it's charging, and this applies to both the first generation and the second generation case, you can tap on the case itself while it's charging to see how charged up the case is. So if you double tap and it's red, that means it's completely dead. If it turns amber, that means it's charging. And if you double tap and it turns green, that means it's fully charged. And then the final tip is to please clean your AirPods. I cannot tell you how gross it is when I see people online or in person with completely disgusting AirPods, the case, the buzz, there's earwax everywhere, there's dirt everywhere. Just make it a habit of cleaning your AirPods, the buds themselves, and the case at least once a year, if not a few times a year. It is very simple and it takes five minutes just use rubbing alcohol you know 90 percent or above is preferred use q-tips and use a microfiber cloth and you know it's very easy to clean just make sure to avoid you know using anything metal on the mesh vents of the airpods you don't want to damage that and also avoid getting any liquid on the charging coils or inside the airpods vents so those are some quick tips and tricks for the airpods pro first and second generation i know that you probably knew some of these but my goal with this video is to teach you at least one new thing so if i did that i would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and also if you did make sure to subscribe for more airpods pro videos and of course a lot more ios and apple videos in the pipeline as well but anyways guys thanks again for watching enjoy your airpods and i'll talk to you soon